up here too. So uh, we out uh, here again. bridges so I'm gonna hit up a couple of bridges and see if we can find them all right so y'all stay tuned if you like the video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also think about hitting that subscribe button I'm trying to run it up hopefully we can get to let's say 350 by the end of the year all right so y'all stay tuned let's get on them right now I'm throwing the 3 8 ounce and just letting it hit the bottom when I feel it hit the bottom I'll jig a couple of times Leave the slack in the line because you want it to stay on the bottom. So we'll see if we can get hooked up. Tide's going out right now, so it's pushing out that way. So I'm just letting that J kind of ride that current. Oh yeah, three eighths is plenty. I can feel it hit it just nicely and it's not so heavy like on that last video i lost a couple of fish because the jig was so heavy or heavier and they were just able to spit it a couple of head shakes so definitely prefer using that three eighths if i can get away with it in the current switch it up you don't always have to go up and down sometimes you can keep it low that way it really does stay on the bottom. It's the advantage of not having a rail in front of you. Switch up the retrieve. All right, y'all, we at the second location. First one didn't really produce much. Got one thump but it felt small don't think it was a pompano at all so we're moving to this next location the tide is still going out i really want to wait until this tide starts coming in i feel like it'll produce a lot better but we're gonna make the most of our time get a line out there and see if something is willing to hit It's showing. What we got? What's the flavor? What's the flavor? It's snagged, whatever it is. Doesn't look like a pompano. Looks like a puffer fish. It looks like a puffer. Looks like a puffer. Oh, he hit the teaser too. He hit the teaser. <laughs> I know I felt the bite. Here we're gonna try to get on it. For sure. It's running like a pump. Oh yeah, that's a pump. Big pump, might be a keeper. Ah. Sir, that's a keeper pump. That's what we want right there. Keeper pump, baby. Okay, 
Okay, they are here. Three eighths ounce jig. Getting the work done. Yellow and pink, pink teaser. Let's go for it again. See Robin. Here, buffy fish. See you. All right, fish on, fish on, fish on. Feels like the one. That's the one. Oh no, it's a jack. Ah. Uh, jack. Still fight hard. Still fight hard. See you. I should have checked my leader, but it's all good. A lot of bait out there right now. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to show you guys the setup that I'm using. I've had a couple of people, which is pretty cool, ask me what setup I use when I'm jigging for Pompano. And then I'll also show you the jig. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you guys all of that information as well. Let's show them. Another jack. Damn it. I know. The clock. Oh. There he is. Wow. There he is. Wow. Whoa. You see that? That's how we do it. Yes, sir. That's how we do it. Keeper number two. Yes, sir. It's showing. What we got? What we got? Some small little pinfish, pigfish, or grunt, a grouper, or snook bait. 
right in the nose. Broke my rod on this pompano, man. Just high sticked and broke my rod on this pompano. Ah, uh, that's tough. Damn, that's tough. a wrap for me um did pretty good on pompanos today but unfortunately snapped my rod on the last one do not high stick man that was completely my fault i high sticked on the when i was landing them and just happened to snap the rod luckily it's still under warranty so i'll be getting it replaced but i uh, told you guys i was going to show you the setup that i was using and uh, this is a shimano terramar px all right, and it is a seven foot medium, uh, extra fast, and it is 10 to 30 pound, uh, rated for 10 to 30 pound. There is the specs. Hopefully you guys can see that part number as well. Um, but I really love this setup. It's got a 2500 Shimano uh, sustain on it, 10 pound braid, and I'm running 20 pound leader on it. Um, very lightweight. Uh, nice and, and easy on the forearm and the wrist for all that jigging that you're going to be doing when you're pumping no jigging. Um, the lure or teaser or jig that I was using rather uh, is a Dox Goofy Jig 3 a ounce. I like yellow and white, green and white, um, and then a pink teaser. And the key to pumping no jigging, man, is to stay in close contact with the bottom. Don't reel in your slack immediately. Uh, jig a few times with that slack in the line and make sure that you're on the bottom and then every three four jigs Then you can reel like one time to try and keep it as close to the bottom as you possibly can But yeah, man did a pretty good job on the pompano got three keepers today one small one um, So I feel like I definitely made up for that last video um, You know losing out on those three so kind of redemption, right? Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching up until this point. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up and also think about subscribing. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.